Now to the COVID outbreak in Georgia. This is information you need to hear ahead of the Christmas holiday. Georgia set new coronavirus records today on multiple fronts. The first record new cases. The state reported more than 6200 cases today alone with more than 3000 probable cases from antigen testing. We also saw near record testing today, but it was not enough to bring down the positivity rate significantly. The number of people in the hospital is also climbing near record levels. More than 3,700 COVID patients are in Georgia hospitals. The state reported more than 300 new patients have checked into the hospital since yesterday. Tonight, we want to dig into the impact of those numbers as tens of millions of Americans ignore CDC guidelines. Holiday travel is surging as the virus rages on. Brittany Kleinpeter joining us now live from the world's busiest airport in Atlanta. Brittany, travel at its highest level since the start of the pandemic here. Yeah, holiday travel rush definitely well underway here at Hartsfield Jackson. TSA says just over 4 million people have traveled since Friday, about a million every day uh, since the weekend. So we're looking at those high numbers, and this all comes as medical experts tell me they're terrified of a post-holiday surge in COVID-19 cases. As we look to Christmas and the rest of the holiday season, I know that many Georgians are anxious to spend time with their loved ones and believe you me, I am as well. Georgia's hospitalizations are soaring just days before Christmas and state leaders are begging people to stay home. Do the right thing and stay vigilant. But not everyone is staying home. AAA estimates 85 million Americans will travel over the next two weeks. Georgia broke a record Tuesday with over 3,700 people hospitalized with 87% of ICU beds in use. Health experts point to Thanksgiving for the spike in cases Cases. Prior to Thanksgiving, you know, we would see 88 cases a day, maybe 100, and now we're seeing five, 600 a day. Dr. Rona is frustrated. Georgians are ignoring the warnings. She's fearful December holiday travel could bring a surge on top of a surge. It's been extremely frustrating to watch what's happened after Thanksgiving and now as we approach Christmas to see this because there are, are people, you know, literally dying uh, from this virus that don't need to be. Meanwhile, the state is preparing for an uptick in cases. The Georgia World Congress Center will reopen as a COVID-19 overflow. The center should be up and running by next week and will hold 60 beds. The CDC's latest advisory is asking the public to postpone travel and stay at home, saying that this is the only way to fully prevent the virus from spreading to you and others. Back to you, Ron.